The cattail is a grass-like plant of the genus Typha, which are known for their cotton-like seeds. They are commonly known as a hot dog plant because their flower spike resembles a hot dog on a stick. Cattails can grow up to four meters tall and are found in marshes and wetlands all over the world. The brown spikes are actually clusters of tiny petalless flowers. The male flowers are found at the top of the spike in a yellowish cone shape and the female flowers are slightly lower down and appear like a velvety brown hot dog. The female flowers are separated from the male flowers by a short section of bare stem. Occasionally, a second cluster of female flowers occurs below the first. After pollen is released, the male flowers disintegrate, leaving a bare stem in their place. Once the brown female flowers are ready, they will open, letting their fluffy seeds emerge. Each seed is attached to a cotton-like substance which will help it to disperse by wind and water. The cattail also has an underground stem called a rhizome, which grows horizontally underground, allowing it to produce roots and new shoots within its radius. Cattails are emergent plants. This means that their roots are anchored in soil below the water's surface, while their leaves and flowers are found above the water in open air. This maximizes their photosynthesis by providing a consistent source of water and at the same time exposure to full sunlight. Because the cattail lives in the oxygen poor soil of marshlands, they have long hollow cells in their leaves, which provide diffusion channels to absorb oxygen. Almost every part of the plant is edible at one time or another. Due to their versatility, cattails have been suggested as a potential food source for the world's population. When eating cattails, you must be mindful of the water conditions, as plants growing in polluted water can accumulate lead and pesticide residues in their rhizomes, which could be dangerous if eaten. Before the plant flowers, the tender inside of the shoots can be squeezed out and eaten raw or cooked. The starchy rhizomes are nutritious, with a protein content comparable to that of corn or rice, and can be ground into a flour. Young shoots can be picked and eaten raw, the leaf bases can be eaten raw or cooked, and the flower spike can be eaten, although this should be done when it is green and after you've removed the sheath and boiled it in water. The plant's leaves have also long been used as thatching, and the fluffy seeds have been used to stuff toys, and in World War II were used to stuff life jackets. <laughs>